In today's Bully Beatdown Breakdown, we're dealing with an inline skater. Now, Jonathan calls himself an extreme inline skater, but almost everyone else calls him an extreme pain in the ass. Actually, if you swing around real quick, check this out. It's where I used to live, right there. That's cool, man. At Christmas time, he was charging me twice as much as the rent was. And then when I went to go confront him about it, he kicked me and my son out. Oh, God damn, no way. No, 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 no. That's where we draw the line. What am I supposed to do? He's just a bully, and somebody needs to teach him a lesson. I've tried countless times to stand up to him, and countless times I've ended up with a broken nose before. I've been in a hospital because of this guy. He's a nut. I'm standing there. He comes up and smacks me in my face. Why? Because he thought it would be funny. I end up not being funny. I fall on the ground, break my nose, have to go and get surgery, and all because this guy wanted to make a joke. Look at this guy. Back when rims were really popular, sitting on dubs, you know what I'm saying? Exhibit, you know what I'm saying? Pimp my ride type era. Threw you out at Christmas time? Me and my son. Man. So what, he, Why are you smiling for? Make it believable. He's a skateboarder? No, he's a rollerblader. He's a rollerblader? I know it's bad. Oh, damn. I used to rollerblade back in the city in Manhattan. rollerblade all through Manhattan, all through Central Park. It was a good time growing up doing that. And uh, listen, it was it was dope back in the day. Very dangerous, so I wouldn't suggest it. Let's see how the bully responds to this. Here's a rollerblader. Rollerblading is not a sport. Either get a hockey stick or a skateboard. Thank you very much. I'm here looking for Jonathan. Who is he? You? What's up? Uh, what? Hey, hey. You brought your come little on, posse, come on. Huh? Come on. You like those moves? You whoa, whoa, oh my whoa. god, look at the deuce behind him slide down. Whoa! Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of you guys now. Yeah, yeah what up? Yeah, yeah. Jonathan? You know your friends. Yeah, or alleged like friends. Uh-huh. Nice that you bring the whole hockey team out. <laughs> oh, you know? Aggressive in League of Geeks. Inline skaters, yo, get it right, dog. Oh, I'm sorry. This is what I'm, we do. Okay, okay, okay. We bust tricks. You know, you say aggressive. In he said we're pros. You're not a pro. You're not a pro. Inline skater, I say booters. It's all good. It's all good. I can't really remember the last time I've seen such a tough crew. Maybe it was the time I watched West Side Story. For real. Look, I'm just here to give you a chance, okay? Instead of picking on these guys, pick on someone your own size. How about you step in a cage with an MMA fighter? Step in a cage with a pro fighter? Pro fighter. And make yourself 10 Gs. 10 stacks? 10 stacks? But just so you know, if you lose, the money goes to Sergio and Jason. Yeah, let's do it. Hand over the money, you can squat. It's on. All right, it's on. This guy's getting his ass whooped. Pro fighter or not, I don't care. Straight up. Old I'll headphones. I'll see you guys at fight night, all right? All right, all right, all right man, peace. I didn't expect Jonathan to step up to the plate like that, but he did. So I'm pretty excited at the prospect of him getting getting it put to him. Yo, a rollerblading bully? That's like a boxing ballerina. Are you freaking kidding me? But just to make sure he's serious, I'm gonna test his skills at my gym. Look at his fit. Look at his fit. I'm not gonna comment on it. I just want you to look at it. What's up, buddy? You lost the boots, I see. Yeah, man. Well, that's pretty fresh. I'm here to whoop ass, show him I can whoop anybody's ass, pound for pound, big, small, don't matter. It don't matter, that's why I'm here. Do you know any grappling? I mean, I, I know a little bit, I watch TV, I see him. Do you know how to- He watches television to learn his grappling. This is awesome. Tap out? Then when it gets tight, you just gotta tap. When it hurts, you gotta tap, right? All right, well, so Logical. you're planning on tapping a lot, huh? No, nah, I mean, for him. You know oh. what I mean? I wanna see him tap as soon as I choke him. I'm gonna see him tap, you know what I'm saying? Once my wrist bend in an awkward way that doesn't actually signify that I know what I'm doing. What kind of choke you got? Grab his neck and you grab your arm? There we go, grab his neck and then grab your arm and then fold your wrist behind your ear. That's not how you do it. Grab your bicep, hide your hand behind his head, grab your own shoulder. It should make almost like an X shape. He's doing a funky chicken. I don't know what he's doing. You choke him, get him, get him. If I grab him like this, right? I'm gonna have him here, ah, he's down. He's gonna tap. That. See that? See how his head's above Mayhem's? He's gonna want his head to be tuckered to his left side into that little bit of that gap there. And then grab your own shoulder, sliding your knuckles behind Mayhem's head. But, you know, he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, you gonna tap? You want me to make you tap? Let's see. Okay. The power of his choke was somewhere in between a Christmas sweater and a tight turtleneck. I got skills. I'm an athlete, yo. I'm, I'm whooping whoever ass he brings. No technique at all. Get off the body, 
But I will say, you know, he's naturally an athletic guy who's young. So, you know, being naturally athletic and young, you know, it's 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 a good combination. I think he pounded 15 energy drinks before he came into my gym. I'm not sure how well that's going to translate to the cage, but like I said, I like his spunk. That, it looks like I like his spunk too, but I also uh, would like if you guys left a like for this video. That's right, man. Hey, look, there's your trainer. Mayhem, your boy, he's a pro. You don't want to retire after you've seen me. Yo, look <laughs> at him, look at him. dude, he's going to come across. I ain't saying sorry to Jason. Wow, look, look at the kicks. He's like this. Look at the kicks. His arms are like Jason. this when he's... Who's the cats that brought you here? Punk ass Sergio, punk ass Jason. Are they your boys? No, my boys. I want to say my, my homies. I ain't gonna call them to go down. I ain't gonna call them to fight. You know what I mean? Obviously. I'm busting Sergio's nose. He ain't gonna want to come. <laughs> now you just acting tough. Nah, I love that guy. Always in the background, judging, silently judging. Uh, you'll figure it out as you get older, young man. You are a moron. Here is the problem solver. <laughs> Jake Shields is awesome. Jake Shields spent a lot of time training in the blue basement with my instructor, John Danahar. So I would always see him in the gym. Hard worker, incredible top pressure, great body locks. He'll smash you from the half guard. Really, really, probably the, the greatest pressure you'll ever roll with. Skater boy has no idea how much this is gonna hurt. This guy real He's a super He's a legitimate punk, huh? Yeah, he's just yep. asking. So yeah, this guy a uh, pretty good fighter or what? He thinks at least. Uh, he's okay he on the so. ground, but uh, he, he's he's due to be knocked out. Yeah, he's due to be knocked out. Hilarious. This guy said he's pretty good on the ground. Why? He's never ever trained on the ground before. Yeah, I saw him. I was way even happier because he was nice and fit. Jonathan, little guy, big guy. I knew it was a wrap. That's not how this works, but okay. No, wow, look at him, look at him, look at him. Awkward punches, mechanical man, mechanical movements. And you messed up, I'm crazy, man. <laughs> All I gotta do is choke him out like I thought I'm gonna do. Punch him in his lips, punch him in his chin, knock him out. I'm taking this money. One way or another, it's mine, yo. I'm ready, let's go. Two yard douchebag who plain refuses to grow up. Weighing in at 170 pounds from the San Fernando Valley, it's Skater Boots, Jonathan! Here we go. <laughs> Finally getting the attention he feels like he deserves. You can tell this dude's a complete narcissist. Obsessed with himself. He got that adolescent body. He got that body when you're 12 years old, but you've been doing some calisthenics type body. But only problem is he's not 12, right? He's a little bit older than that, and so funny. <laughs> Calm down, Spunky. Look, you got anything to say to these guys before we get this thing started? That's a pumps. <laughs> That's a pumps. What's up? All right, you ready to beat your fighter for the first time? I don't know how he has so much energy. Like, what are you on? He's psyching himself up. He's probably gonna tear his ACL. You gotta be careful stomping like that. Now, what's funny is this is all a psychological ploy to get himself emotionally invested in the fight and to suppress some of his natural anxiety. One thing about Jake Shields is he's a great competitor. He's just a phenomenal competitor. Jake Shields pumped for this. Beautiful, double leg takes him right down. Jake ain't playing. Right to a guillotine, uh, modified front headlock position from side control. All right, now he's looking to just smash his trachea. He's looking for the armbar, though. Transitioning to an S-mount position. Nice work. Clears the head with the cross face leg. Extension on the primary arm. He gets the armbar. That's one G. So this will slowly start to demoralize a bully. Look, already. See, you, you fantastically made yourself up to be this guy. You're jumping around, you're bouncing around, you're bumping into a professional fighter. And when someone arm bars you in a few seconds, all of that washes away. Don't run away, don't run away. Look, he's running, he's Don't run away. You got those inline legs. You gotta cut off the cage, Jake. Guillotine, guillotine, pulls guard, rotates him over the top. He's looking to lock up a darts, it seems, from the top, but no, he steps over to the mount instead. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Panic. Lay on your back, on your back like a little bitch. Oh, God damn. Pushes the face away. 
blocks the breathing, transitions to the armbar again. Two on one on the wrist, great finish. Another armbar for $2,000, baby. Look at the mouthpiece. We love to see the mouthpiece hang out of their mouth. We love to see that. When the fatigue hits in and you can't hide from your fatigue, it's just, it's a pleasure for us to watch. Look at Jake wandering in like a zombie, hands by his chest, hilarious. Pushes him into the cage. Uchimata gets the throw, reverses position, and gets head height to maintain the top position. So a good thing you can do off of that Uchimata, any far leg throw works as well. As you start to scramble out, there's going to be a moment where you're fighting for hip and head height. But if you can kick your leg over his waist and take mount, it'll basically force his hips to the mat, and it'll help you get the top position in most cases. Blocking the breathing. Great way to fatigue your opponent. Another arm lock. Beautiful extension, Juji Katami City. Uh, he tried to lift him up and it works. Good athlete, naturally, but Jake ain't gonna get discouraged by nothing like that. Wrestles him right back to the bottom position, passes the legs easily and transitions to a knee on belly. I wouldn't hold the head. He's gonna go back to the arm bar. Oh no, this is gonna be another arm bar. Beautiful work by Jake. Multiple arm bars, look at this guy. He's like, thank God I don't need my arms to rollerblade. Should heel hook him, honestly. All right, let's go. One more, one more. Come on, Jake. We got 15 seconds. Jake, you got to go, man. Go, 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 go. Guillotine. Just get a guillotine. Lock up a guillotine. Come on, up. Oh, no. Go to the back. Go, go, go. We don't have time. Five seconds. God damn it. Come on. Ah, that, that sucks. Come on, finish him, finish him. Body kick. There we go. Look at Jake running forward with straight punches. Break, 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 break. Get to work, get to work. No, keep going. Ho, ho, ho. Jake landing shots. So apparently he got hit low. Got hit with a switch high kick and a right hand after the fact, I believe. So they're giving him a standing eight. He's saying that's bullshit. He got hit low, which I think is true. Nice right hand by Jake. Nice body kick by Jake. You know, the thing that a non-trained fighter can't deal with, uh, an untrained fighter cannot deal with taking shots to the body. Nice right hand, drops him. Beautiful timing on that shot. As the bully was stepping in, he timed it right straight, right down the pipe, sent him to a knee. Beautiful, that truly rocked him. It's like hitting a fastball. If you can time your opponent coming in and meet him with a shot, you're amplifying your leverage on the punch. They see how he recovers from this. He has a long time to go. Head kick. Right hand again. He can't miss the right hand. Another right hand. Another right hand. He can't miss the right hand. Another right hand. He stopped it. He stopped it. Once Jake realized that that right hand was going to land every single time, there was just no way to, to avoid it. I mean, he, the kids could not read it with his left hand, so the right hand was just slipping over the top. Excellent job. I made yourself $2,000, but this $8,000 goes to them for their pain and suffering. Would you like to hand it to them? I mean, no, look, man, is there anything you want to say to these guys, man? It's been years of abuse. Hey, all real? Hey, my bad for being a punk ass, you know what I mean? Oh. We love, we love a good about, bit of closure on, on the Steven exactly. Strangles channel, don't we? Up. Being a bully does not pay. But Steven, it's fake. Why are we even entertaining this nonsense? Go cry about it to your mom. And also leave a comment if it bothers you, okay? Strangle Gang, I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's continue to grow this channel, and I will see you in the next one.